Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to show you the very first trick um, I ever saw. And it was performed by an old Chinese magician in Hawaii by the name of Curtis Cam. He had a goblet, and he also had a coin. And he could make that coin dance on his fingers like this. It looked amazing. But he didn't stop there. Another coin would appear. It was impressive. Coin after coin seemed to dance at the back of his hands as if they were alive. It was one of the most amazing things I'd ever seen in my entire life. I didn't know where they were coming from. <laughs> Neither do you. <laughs> but, uh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I was excited too, right? Because he kept making these coins appear. And I didn't know where they were coming from. But, you know, I started to realize that, well, you know, he's a Chinese magician. Why doesn't he use Chinese coins? Ooh. Why does he make Chinese coin after Chinese coin appear, right? Wouldn't that be better? But he insisted on using those silver coins. And I realized I was just being a racist. Because if I could, you know, that would mean those British magicians would have to use those English pennies, oh. right? They'd have to make English penny after English penny after English penny appear, and that's, it's so much better when you do it with the silver coins, because you actually wow. see them, right? Um, the last thing he did was one of the most amazing things I ever see, saw. He took that last coin, he blew, he tapped it, it vanished, and then when it reappeared, it brought back friends. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I, oh, oh my God. God. Thank you. <laughs>